boys and girls, Tommy is getting ready to turn in for the night, so we thought we'd read one of our bedtime stories. And tonight we're going to read Muddy Paws. But boys and girls, when we read, we want to understand what we're reading. So we can use our strategies to help us. You know what strategy I want to use today? I want to use our strategy of making predictions to help me understand. I'm going to put this right up close so that you can see it really well. Do you, do you see that picture? Do you see that picture? Look at that. Look at that dog. He's been into something. Did you see in the corner here? Uh-huh. I see a paw print. And that's not a Blue's Clue paw print. And look at our title. It's called Muddy Paws. I'm going to predict that Muddy Paws might get himself into a little bit of a mess in this story. That's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Looks like he's happy, though. I'm also thinking there might be a happy ending. Maybe we'll do a little bit more predicting as we read the story. But let's get started. This story was written by Mor Mora Butterfield, and the pictures were by Simon Mendez. All right, let's get started. Well, this is kind of fun. This right here gets my mind going with predictions. Mm-hmm. Looks like the child remembered to take his muddy shoes off, but somebody else still made a mess. Oh, Muddy Paws looks like Tommy there a little bit, because look at he's just kind of relaxing in his bed. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. It was a special day for Ben. He had a new puppy. I'll teach you all the things I know, said Ben. But first, I need to choose a name for you. Mm. I'll need to think hard about it. It has to be just perfect. I don't really mind what name you choose, as long as you give me lots of cuddles, thought the new puppy. Looks like Ben's thinking, too. So the puppy's not too worried about the name, but Ben wants it to be just right. Wait a minute, did someone just say they think they know how Ben chooses the name? You're predicting, aren't you? Ben looked around his bedroom to see if he could find an idea for the perfect puppy name. I'll look in my storybook, he said, but none of the names in the book were right for this new puppy. I'm trying to think of books we've read before that have puppies in them. Can you think of any puppy books we've read? Um, Paw Patrol. Oh, Paw Patrol has lots of puppy names. Let's see, would any of the names from Paw Patrol work for this new puppy, you think? I think it's Chase, Marshall, Chase, Sky, Marshall. Endless, Any Tracker. of those? I don't know if those would be good names for him. They almost seem like they match the other ones better. I guess you're right. I think I'll leave you to hunt for names, thought the new puppy. I'd rather look behind that flower pot. The little puppy crept over. He sniffed and he climbed. Oh, he's looking curious. But I don't think they're going to name him George because that's a good monkey name. I don't know yeah, if it's a good dog Yeah, but my friend Ryan thinks he's an ape. Oh, really? I don't think he's that big, though. He didn't mean to knock over the flower pot, but what do you predict happened? It said he didn't mean to, so I think he's going to. Oops. That's just what he did. He made muddy paw prints everywhere. Oh, boy. Let's go to the park. I might be able to think of a good name there, said Ben. I'd rather look behind that tree, thought the little puppy. So he ran... And he ran. Look at the face on the little boy there. Look at how nervous he looks. What do you think that puppy's going to run right into? Are you predicting? Are you thinking he's going to go right through the mud? Let's find out. He didn't mean to jump in the mud, but squelch. That's just what he did. Did you predict it correctly? I bet you did. He made muddy paw prints everywhere. Look at some of the paw prints are even on Ben. I guess when the author says everywhere, they meant everywhere, huh? Yeah. Ben 
friend's neighbors were having a party in their backyard. One of the guests might be able to think of a good name for you, said Ben. Let's go ask them. I'd rather look in the pond, thought the new puppy. So he leaned over. And he leaned over a bit more. What do you think's going to happen? Whatever you think is going to happen is going to be your prediction. All right, are you predicting there's going to be a mess? Let's find out. He didn't mean to fall in the pond, but splash! That's just what he did. He made muddy paw prints, you guessed it, everywhere. That word says everywhere. We'd better go home and clean you up, said Ben. I'd rather go digging in the backyard, thought the new puppy. Uh-oh. He just got wet, and now he's digging in the backyard. So he dug, and he dug, and he dug. Look at him. He's digging in the mud. Are you predicting again? You're predicting another mess of paw prints everywhere? This time he found lots of things. A lost ring, an old wrench, and a toy car that Ben had lost. Do you think you know what's going to be on those? Let's read on. He didn't mean to, but all that mud, bring all that mud indoors, but pitter patter. That's just what he did. He made muddy paw prints everywhere. Oh, yeah. It looks like the front of the storybook. Did you see that, Tommy? Yeah. Yep. I saw that in the beginning, too. And he didn't mean to find a name for himself at last, but guess what? That's just what he did. You are the muddiest, funniest puppy there ever was. There's only one name for you, laughed Ben. Look at it. Here's his name. Muddy Paws. Sound like Santa Paws. It does, like the movie Santa Paws, but this one is Muddy Paws. How many of you were thinking that? Yeah, and look at It's ending the same way it began. You know, boys and girls, today when we read this story, I think our predictions were right on. It seems like everything we guessed was going to happen kept happening. Some stories are very predictable. Sometimes, mean? oh, what does it mean? Good question, Tommy. If we say they're predictable, it means you can figure out what's going to happen. Yeah. You have a good idea about it. Sometimes it works out very well for us and our predictions are correct. Sometimes we make predictions in a story, and that's not what happens, but that's okay. It still helps our brain make sense of the story, and that's why we think about what we're reading, and we try to make sense of it. Today, predicting helped us figure it out, and we knew at the end that Muddy Paws was just the right name for this dog. All right, boys and girls, Tommy's going to finish up his nighttime routine. I don't know if you're watching this at night or in the morning, but if you're watching it at night, sweet dreams.